Hello and welcome to the Patreon exclusive edition of Black, White, and Red All Over. I'm the hardest working man in comics, Victor Dandridge. And I'm Ryan Seymour, king of Comic Town. Yo, that I was... love the way you just did that. <laughs> Yo, I felt like this is some nightline news here. Breaking news. We got this awesome book. Um, okay, no, we actually do have this we awesome book. Do. Uh, Join the Future. It's the new one from uh, Aftershock. We, we give a lot of love to Aftershock because they, they deserve it. They? Say, like 90% of their books are hot fire. Yeah. Because like, it's just... Yeah. Literally hot fire. And I would even say like the remaining 10%, it's not that they're not good. They just might not be the books for us. us. Right. Because they do have such a diverse... Yes. The only weakness that I see in the Aftershock catalog yeah. is they don't have an all-ages title. That's a really good point. Yeah, that's the one thing you guys don't have. Like, like the Aftershock team is watching me right now. But yeah, like if you guys are, you, you don't have an all-ages title. Hmm. I got a story to pitch to you guys. Um, all right, so this one, uh, we got Zach Kaplan, mm -hmm. Piotr Kowalski. Um, they're the, the main uh, writer, creator, and artist. Uh, we got Brad Simpson on colors, mm -hmm. Hassan Astamain El Haulu uh, on letters. And let me just say this like the lettering, I took note of mm -hmm. because I liked it. Like yeah. a lot of times when you are paying attention to the letters, that's a bad thing. It's really true because it means it's taking you out of the story. Yeah. Um, but I enjoyed like the moments where um, things were different because it seemed to be for a legit reason. Yeah. Um, which I'll like definitely talk about like this yeah. here when it's so loud. Um, it's really good. It's really good. So shall we jump into this? Yes. All right. Shall. So I know Join the Future had a brief preview in last week's uh, mm -hmm. Dark Arc. Yep. Um, but I didn't read it because I was like, I want to know what this is. And the thing is, it was only this beginning. Exactly. Part. Exactly. Like I definitely skimmed and saw what it was, but I didn't read it. Um, so when you when you open it up, I mean, we're literally looking at like Legion of Superheroes esque future yeah. cityscape. Um, Wakanda would be proud. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like this is this is a gleaming this glorious is metropolis. The future. If Harambe wouldn't have been killed. Facts. This is where we would be, Peter. Right here. Right here. Um, what's interesting is we don't have a timeline, though. Yeah, that's the thing. Is we've, it's the future. Right. But but we really only know that, one, because of the full advance of what we're seeing. Yeah. And the things that they're talking about are clearly things we ain't got today. Yeah. Um, but here's the thing. So it starts off with basically a pitch of joining this future landscape. Yeah. Like, hey, come join us. And I thought, like, okay, so taking a quick aside, mm -hmm. as a writer, I thought this was a great way of introducing this world yeah. as as though you're not just pitching it in the context of the story, you're literally pitching it to the readers. Yeah. So it's it like really gives you everything that you need to know to fully understand what kind of world we're about to get yeah. into. Let's run it down. So with this uh, this invitation. Here's what you get to experience. Fresh, organic fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. grown right here in the city's vertical farms. The city yeah. has farms. Yeah. That's like your first clue of how different this is. Yeah. Like, we're not talking rural area. We're not talking in broad and daily. The city itself has been designed in a way to grow organic food. Right. Vertical farms, meaning upward. Dope. Um, Enjoy free healthcare visits and the most advanced medical screenings to ensure you live a long and healthy life. I'm sold. I mean, in a, in a super politically charged climate that we're in right now, these are like hard talking points, man. Yeah. This is really great. Um, feel truly safe uh, for your children, uh, monitored and protected by state-of-the-art human-managed robotic security. Okay, that was the one that I was like, this is about to be a really smart book. Yeah. Is, talk to me. You, that you, was the one moment where I was like, well, oh. like the parent in me is like, my kids will be safe. Right. And then there's like the, the, the conspiracy theorist in me that's like, no, nah, I don't trust these robots. You know, here's the thing that made me fall back on that because I totally understand. It was the human managed yeah. robotic security. So like while the, the robots are doing the safety measures, they are overseen by actual people. Yeah. Which I was like. Oh, that's clever. Like, yeah. you, you eliminate the Skynet probability. Yeah. Like, no, there's people in control. Like, if something goes wrong, they go, doop, doop, and you're done. Like, right. robot gone. Um, what I thought was cool. Design your own home and watch as complimentary. Complimentary. Right. Like you just get 3D printing robots. What? Uh, that produce decor right before your eyes. 
Like I, that, that's that's bonkers. It, imagine instead of going to IKEA, which I did today, by the way, um, IKEA sends over a bot to just build you whatever yeah. you want. Like this is amazing. There's there is no lower strata. Like everybody is at the top. Yeah, yeah, completely. Receive universal basic income. This is complicated, okay? Yeah. And pursue programming service, art, fitness, or whatever career your heart desires. So this is Star Trek level. It really is. Like you can get enough money to do whatever it is that you need to do. Mm -hmm. And then your job is whatever you want to do. Right? What? I, right? So people can, like, legitimately, pers like, the arts. Right. The, oh my gosh, yeah, this. What is, it, I mean, okay, okay, okay. This world that they're painting right here. Mm -hmm. Like, what does that mean if everyone makes the same amount, we'll say. Yeah. To do whatever it is that they want. Like... What does that do? What is there? Is there a challenge? Is there a negative? Because I, I really can't. What makes you? What makes you want to be the person working the bar? Because you just want to, right? Yeah. Like, it's not. It's not like I have to get a job. But right. if if you're doing the thing that you love, is there ever like the struggle with? Oh, I gotta go. I have to go to work today. Like, this is what you want to do. Everything would be a burden eventually. I would think, but maybe not. Yeah, that's, oh, that's interesting. Right? Watch the most exciting shows and sporting events in our city's luxurious high-end theaters and stadiums. You got sports teams. Yeah. All the sports ball you can imagine. Or connect from the comfortable privacy of your own home with our cutting-edge virtual reality experiences. So if you're feeling antisocial, you can still be social from the safety of your own home. That's crazy. That's crazy. I... This is this is kind of great, but then here's where we're seeing that there is an other. Yes. This last bit of dialogue. You want to take that one? Yeah, yeah. So if you're working hard for your next meal, feeling mm. disconnected in that small town, mm. we invite you to join the economic power of millions of people living together. Join a mega city without hunger, disease, poverty, or crime. Come with us, and join the future. Now, I'm, I'm sold. Yeah, like, it's really hard not to see this as a super yeah. Because um, the people they're showing in it, it's a, a completely diverse... Yep. Everybody across the spectrum is shown. Completely. I, we're, I mean, first of all, this splash page is glorious. Yeah. Um, I mean, Mobius-esque, like, it's fantastic. And, I mean, we're seeing drones... Uh, I'm imagining if those are drones. Maybe they I could be flying cars. I don't even know. Maybe. But, like, plant life. Yeah. Everywhere. Everywhere. I mean, like, this is not, like, a forsaken space. Like, it's not yeah. just so crystalline and, and, and yeah, this concrete. Is not where Judge Dredd lives. No, like, no, 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 like, no. This is, this is the future. Right. This is what we want. I mean, literally, you've got, like, trees as part of the wallscape. Like, it's beautiful. Um and then we get this awesome... Like, I'm, I'm already sold. I'm leaving my small town behind. <laughs> like, you know, I'm in. I'm joining the peoples. Then we go the Midwest, USA, the future. We get a clear definition that this is the future. Yeah. What's interesting, though, is palette-wise, like, this was kind of a cool yeah. kind of thing. We get more into a warm color yeah, it's palette. Earth tones. Very earthy. And it's a small family unit. Yeah. Father, two kids turkey hunting yeah um the dad is trying to teach the daughter how to shoot and the little brother yeah. of course is you know ribbing a little bit we find out that the young lady's name is clem yeah i'm sure clem time um and then this idea of shooting uh clem is not the best yeah apparently she misses quite often yeah and what what her brother is wondering and mm -hmm. this is a really good question She's got a sight on the rifle, mm -hmm. but there are higher tech sights that you can use that will provide additional accuracy. Right. But their father is very against that for some Super reason. Super against it. Even though the brother is pitching, like, it's not so advanced that it's, you know, automatically going to do it for you, yeah. but maybe this would help. And Clem, this is a special thing I, I like, where her dad is like, you know, 
uh, the best, the best, or the important thing is to do it for yourself. Yes. And she's like, then why are you helping? And he's like, there you go. Take your shot. Fair game. Fair game. Like, she's fully embracing yeah. this ideology of do it yourself. She still misses. Yeah, she's sh- that poor tree. Yeah, like, <laughs> hardcore she misses. But then she <laughs> she races forward. <laughs> my, fa- my favorite part of that, she's like running these turkeys down. Yeah. And like at point blank range, is going to execute this bird. This bird was going down, okay? <laughs> but then something catches her eye, and it's this huge dire wolf looking yeah. thing. And that comes out of nowhere. Yeah. The dad shoots it, and all it does is growl and right. walk away. Like, what kind of... This is this is the one that got Little Red, the hunter, and Grandma. Yeah. And was just like, I'm still hungry. It's the Galactus yeah. of wolves out here. Um, <laughs> so Clem gets up, and she starts having a, an asthma attack. She can't breathe. And this is the interesting thing that, for me, she has an inhaler. Yeah. And for whatever reason, as he was making all these statements about doing it yourself, that's not something I expected yeah. them to have. Although, is an, is an inhaler so low tech now? I mean, yes, I guess. But at the same time, yeah, because that was a bit weird, but they can't find it. Right. She's dropped it in the pursuit and or attack that's happened here. Um, Owen is her brother, is instructed to check in the mud, and he's looking around, can't find it. And, you know, her dad is trying to, you know, coach her through it, like, just breathe, honey, just breathe. And she's like, I can't, I can't. Um, And they're like, well, look, we're too far from town, but they're near the traders. Which is this interesting barter town looking area. Yes. And they've got technology. A lot of it. It looks, you know, a mix of old school things, but. Inside, they've got some serious tech available, and whoever this trader is, is made to maintain all kinds of secrecy and mystery yeah. um, in a real big, bad way. But he, you know, they get her there in time, and she's on a breathing machine yeah. that seems to do the trick. Um, an undisclosed amount of time passes. Yeah. Presumably still same day. And she's waking up, being carried by her dad. And she's oh. like, did you use a machine on me? Right? Like, that's that's her only concern is that we are not giving into technology. Right. And we still don't know why. Because that gleaming city, that that idyllic paradise is looming in the background Literally of this entire conversation. Right there. Right? Um Owen says you had a you had an asthma attack. It was an emergency, but you know, Pa, the trader also had some pretty cool stuff: yeah. heat-seeking bullets, energy shields. We could get them for emergencies too. I felt with this dialogue, mm-hmm. I felt the little bit of shame that I think her dad felt not being able to save his daughter without having to, to use yeah. this attack. Um, the heat-seeking bullets, though. That would make hunting so oh my gosh, yeah. easy. Oh my gosh. Although I have to wonder, like, could it get confused? Like, yeah. if you're having a fever, or you're excited <laughs> about the notion of getting to shoot something and your heat spikes. And Clem's behind the trigger. Does the bullet go, yeah. <laughs> forget you, turkey. Wow. Mistakes were made. That's crazy. Um, so, Dad points out to the cityscape, to the whole skyline, and is like, that out there, that city, that future, it's inviting and addictive. I'm sold. I mean, it really is. He says, but the moment you settle or bargain away your values, you're not free anymore. They own you. What does that mean? I don't know, man, because that definitely, it sounded super, super ominous. Yeah, like he knows something that he's not, I like guess that thing, like where as a parent, you know some stuff, right? But you know your kids aren't ready for the full exactly I'm exactly like, no cuz i like is he is he just a zealot is there an actual cuz that i'm that those He's, first I few mean, pages it's beautiful it's paradise it's a technological paradise it's like andrew yang and bernie sanders sat down and were like what guess we what do? we're going to do we're going to build this we're going to join the future yep and this is what it looks like um he asked his kids to to never join up like he asked them to promise and they do um he still seems, you know, a little, a little unsettled by it all. Yeah. But 
They make their way back to the village, and they go to Franklin, uh, which has... A dwindling population. Yes, yeah, super dwindling. I mean, we, it starts off at 12,542, and now they're sitting at a, at a prime 288. Now, is that from death? Is that from people joining the city? I bet it's people leaving and joining the city, man. I can't even lie. Um, so... The dad, like, through body language, like, this is so well done. Through body language, he clearly stops his children from moving yeah. forward like something is wrong. And this is another spot where the lettering comes into play, yeah. where this one is, it's bigger lettering all around. The, yeah. the balloons themselves are bigger, the font is bigger, and you get the impression that this person is speaking really loudly, yeah. which is really, really smart. Um, but it's a guy standing literally on the back of this souped-up Tesla, um, with a few soldier bodyguards, you know, around him, and he's pitching to come to live in a city. Yeah, like why toil under this heat in this poor air from dawn to dusk when you could work from the comfort of your new two thousand square foot urban home? I'm sold. I mean, that's bigger than my house, it, right? Now. Right? It really is. All while your kids are educated, your cancers are treated, and your every care is met. Okay. I mean. There I, are some things where it's too good to be true. Like, right. it's got to be. But is it? Like, I don't know. It, well, I mean, he does continue. And we ask for nothing. There nothing are. more than you help us become the biggest city in the Midwest. We are stronger when we join together. Now, it could just be an accolade of, yo, we're the biggest city in the yeah. Midwest. But maybe there's more to it than that. So the dad is like, that's enough. Y'all aren't welcome here. One, one of the, the, yeah, yeah. One of the one of the the bodyguard type people's like it's a free country, ain't it, mayor? So now we know it isn't just a father and a family. That's the mayor of this town. Yes, he is fighting to preserve their ideal, their aesthetic. Right. His response is, "Our town is private property, sheriff." That's an interesting point. Mm. Mm. So the sheriff responds with, so's the West Ridge City Reserve now. You wouldn't happen to hear about any unlawful poaching up there. Hmm. Now we're getting into some very Robin Hood-esque stuff because yeah. they were just out there hunting, presumably in this area. So someone else walks up and adds to the, the conversation. Now, if your moron scientists didn't release their engineered wolves... Remember, got shot, yeah. took it out here and drive away all the game. You wouldn't have hunters up there. But why did they? Re did they release the wolves to get rid of the game to force people to go into the city? I mean, that's what I would presume. It's, it's a move. So this the slick guy is like, yeah, all restored preserves are populated with their natural wildlife. Mm. But if food is scarce, we offer a fresh variety of cuisines three times a day. Like he's still. He's selling. selling the whole time. Yeah. Now, young Kim, Clem, even though she had her treatment, she yeah. still has got a little bit of a cough. A little cough, cough. Without missing a beat, sales pitch dude is like, and a cough like that can be eliminated forever. Once healthy, a young woman like yourself willing to have children, and the dad is like, nah. Back it up. Back it yeah. up. Because that, 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 you'd be taken good care of. Wait. We'll it, take care of ourselves. Yeah. Like, is it? taken care of because she's capable of breeding yes that's what that sounds like and obviously if you can have more children and i am guessing gets you, bigger right and you would be pushed to have more children so long as you can have children ah so again slick salesman is like we brought a peace offer offering for the holiday tonight a whole thing full of turkeys this is you are all welcome to one you are free to decide for yourselves aren't you <laughs> like that just shoots the birds. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Mary ain't playing. He ain't got no time for this. The sheriff goes to draw, and the salesman is like, that, 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 that. It's cool. He says, uh, I speak for everyone. That's why I'm mayor. The salesman says, suit yourself. Happy Thanksgiving. That night, everyone is enjoying themselves. It's looking like a, it's way more fun of a Thanksgiving than my house. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I don't see anyone fighting. Yeah. Uh, you know, the drunk uncle isn't telling horrible stories. Yeah. Um, well, maybe in the back. That could be there that back could there. Be. He's always but, there. Yeah, yeah. Looming. But still, it looks like people are having a good time. Um, they're giving love to Clementine. They're saying, like, look, she might not be able to hunt for nothing, but her cooking skills are on point. The apple pie? Mwah. Delish. 
It was really good. Warm apple pie. Right? So she looks over and sees that, you know, there's a council of folks discussing things. Her father's one of them. Um, and they're talking about how now Fayetteville sold, and all 10,000 people, they all joined. And it sold. Not sold out. Right. Sold. Gave up their land, maybe? Maybe. Like, in order to grow, they have to be assumed by the cityscape? Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. If you're going to grow in number, you got to grow in size. Yeah, and so that, that other person's like, right, I've been down there. The city's machines terraformed it right off the map. Whole city's just trees now. Wow. So then they reduce it back to a natural state in order to build from there? Maybe. Man, that's crazy. And the other holdouts like us say they're getting attacked by mercenaries. Why? That's weird. I mean, that, that sounds like crazy talk. Why would, right, the perfect utopian city hire thugs to like it doesn't to goad you into i mean like, yeah. like that's some serious scale gentrification if i ever heard of it yeah like, it's, it's nuts food gets scarcer uh we won't be able to trade for munitions and one guy says i'm sorry to say but we should sell now while we still have leverage it's not a bad point it's a very practical mindset because they're 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 pitching some right. serious sales. They really are. Like if it's going to happen eventually, then we might as well get in now. We can get the most out of it. Mayor, of course, is like, food will hold fine. We ain't selling. One guy, Noah, who was uh, seemingly on the side of it before, yeah. is like, the food won't hold, our neighbors won't last, and the big cities won't stop coming for us until they buy every damn soul. Oh. Wow. Yeah. The mayor's like, they're, they're not buying me, and the other people are like, but what will your freedom cost you? What a dark question. And it sounds like these folks are, you know, ready to make that step, and yeah. he's last holdout, trying to convince them not to. So Clem goes on a walk, and she finds Owen sitting in a tree, listening to an MP3 player. Which probably was archaic compared to what's in the city. I mean, truly. But to them is super that's a, high tech. Yeah, 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 that's unforgivable. And she's like, dad would kill you. And Owen clearly knows it, gets yeah. to crying, and she's like, look, I, I won't tell. And he's like, no, that's not it. It's it's the music. It ain't like we have here. This It's it's beautiful. One Ever wonder what else we're missing? How crazy is that? You got a little taste of the future, and it's like, maybe, yeah. maybe this is better. Because people there... They have universal income. They can pursue their arts. You know, like, I'm going to be a musician. I don't have to worry about anything. Yep, let's do this. So there's a sound. And Clem and, and Owen are like, what is that noise? They can't figure it out. There's a dog barking. There's maybe, you know, we should we should go back. Could be, the, could be those giant wolves. Could be something, yeah. right? So as they're coming back, we see uh, Noah and their dad. Some other folks are like, what is it? And it was like, there was some noise out there. I don't think it was wolves. Um, but we don't know what it is. Yeah. So the dad is like, you know, everybody back up to the house. Yeah. Fire off a shot. Should right. scare, scare the wolves off. See what it is. Um, Oof. nothing reacts. And, uh, the dad's like, it's nothing. Let's go back. They turn around, start to head back to the house. Some people come out of that, that wood line. Like almost teleporting in. Yeah. Armed, yeah, exactly. super mega weapons, glowing. They've got armor. One dude's got a jet pack. Right. Like. I'm afraid of the dude that's got, like, the sidearm and the cowboy hat and sunglasses. You know about. what? Definitely fear that dude because he's a problem. Yeah. Um, I mean, they look like paratroopers like I've ever seen. Yeah. This is the, no bueno. These yeah. have to be yeah. the mercenaries they were talking about, right? Absolutely. Clem screams, pa, and all he can do is yell, run. So he knows. Right. And they start shooting. Oh, my gosh. And it's a bloodbath. Like, oh, my. Yeah. In three panels. I am so heartbroken. Yeah. Virtually, I mean, the whole porch is torn apart, Cause including it, Owen, her brother. And Owen was on board. Owen was 100%. He was going to go to that city. Yeah. Maybe not yeah. now. But, but maybe he, he was so intrigued. Yeah. He would have been one. And he was so pure. And now he's... He's gone. I mean, literally internal bleeding the whole nine. Yeah. And Clem is just holding him while almost everyone else is getting gunned down yeah. by these like crazy mercs and it stops on to be continued and can i tell you this preview of the second issues cover invokes the greatest series or feelings of days of future past for me mm -hmm. um it's it's beautiful it's essentially a graveyard 
But instead of people's names, it's the names of cities. Yeah. And there's that burning house and the shining, shining city behind. It's crazy. This is, this is a very compelling sort of series. Um, now, there are letters from the past, and I didn't read these, but you, you said you did. Yeah. Um, I guess before the towns are terraformed, there are some things that are left behind, and you know, sometimes mm -hmm. the traders or whatever go in and yeah. find stuff, and these are some of the letters that they found. Um, what's some of the stuff that they're talking about? Oh, my gosh. It's, it's beautiful um, well, and sad in, in some respects. Um, there's, let's see, I, I hear from your mother that you're working in team of classmates. That wasn't the one I was looking for. Yeah, because they find medicine. Oh, um, wow. And there's the family histories where the father's father was born in this particular city and that they've been, or the, this town, and they've been there for generations and generations and generations. Right. And now it's gone. Uh, how families are making the decision to to either sell. Uh, it's, it's, it's really personable stuff. It's like the kind of stuff that, uh, if, if, if your family, like your grandparents or great grandparents, kept letters they shared amongst each other, this wow. kind of thing, it's like snapshots, which makes me wonder, like, did, did Zach write these also? Right. Because uh, they're they're amazing. This is awesome. And the way they're lettered too. Right. Makes it so individual. Yes. Because it's because they're all handwritten and the, cl the the different writing styles. Yeah, I totally agree. It, it became something like really remorseful mm -hmm. like you know the melancholy was right there on the page which was dope um we do get a, a an idea of time frame now though yeah. um one of the letters is dated uh 6 um we got one that's 229.55. uh this one is nine twenty two fifty four. um yeah this is yeah. this is crazy this is a cool yeah. cool series man yeah. i think it's going to be one that like you'll need to talk about mm -hmm. in a in a lot of different contexts, yeah. um, especially once it's collected in a trade. Uh, definitely check this one out. Join the future yeah. number one, a great book from AfterShock. Again, they do great work, man. Great stuff. Like super fantastic. So support this. You need it in your life on your shelves. Do it. Do it now. People don't buy indie books. Indie books won't exist. Facts. Absolute facts.